We've got some of the biggest names in the NBA returning to the league this season, and we can't wait to see them in action. They've already been involved in some preseason matches, and it's a delight to have them back. Let's take a look at a few first impressions of some of the superstars making their comebacks from injuries. First up, Kendrick Nunn, Los Angeles Lakers. This was the first time we saw Kendrick Nunn in NBA action in almost exactly a year, 358 days to be precise. And it was almost immediately glorious as he drove the left lane and found AD with a pocket pass. He didn't need an invitation to reawaken the chemistry between the two as he collected the feed, faked a shot, and zipped it back to Nunn, who drained a corner three. It's almost like he never left. The shot was made with relative ease, but it's good to see that he landed well on that right knee, which kept him out of the action because of a bone bruise. Darvin Ham, in fact, loved Nunn's dedication to shooting in the offseason and decided to start him as the shooting guard for the preseason. Of course, with Lonnie Walker and Dennis Schroeder set to return, that's something that could change, but none seems ready to challenge for that spot. Up next, Michael Porter Jr., Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are going to be incredibly tough opposition this season with many returning players. Kevin Porter Jr. is one of them as he makes his comeback from a back injury that limited his previous season to only nine games. He only played 14 minutes of the preseason, but it was enough to indicate that he's going to be a handful for the opposition. He produced an efficient 5 of 7 scoring 12 and knocked down all three attempts from inside the perimeter. For a returning player, he had enough confidence to ensure that he's not lost himself in his time away from the sport. Porter's confidence and aggressiveness are things that Denver will very much cherish as he prepares to begin the season on a high. In fact, he also contributed with a rebound after Jamal Murray missed a shot and that reminded us of Porter's rookie season. After that, James Wiseman, Golden State Warriors. When James Wiseman first played for the Warriors, the common complaint over his performance was that he wasn't a good fit. He'd often come across as overwhelmed by the free-flowing Warriors system and just couldn't find a role that suited him. If there were any doubts over his place in that team, they were all blown away by that fantastic performance on his preseason debut in Tokyo. Kerr called him the player of the game as he produced a 20-point display on 8 of 11 shooting and that included 5 spectacular dunks. In fact, that's exactly where the Warriors plan on utilizing him at and above the rim, and he's going to love that role. His first game was a massive indication of what to expect, and he's shown that he's not afraid of crashing the boards. In fact, he's a lot more at home now than he was a year ago, despite missing more than a year due to injuries. Moving on, Jamal Murray, Denver Nuggets. We don't need to count the days since we last saw Jamal Murray in NBA action, because he did the math for himself when he tweeted 539 days later about that time. Fair to say, he was super Super excited, but we all got excited too when we saw the entire bench stand up for a shot in a preseason game when Murray let it fly. He would miss the first two, but the third one's always special, and boy was it beautiful. Everyone was smiling, and most importantly, Jamal was smiling. The one that followed the third was probably the most important one as he went up trusting his repaired ACL in his left knee, but it all worked out really well. A fadeaway jumper followed that one as Murray turned to the crowd and said, that's what I do. On to Damian Lillard, Portland Trailblazers. In his first game of the 2022 season, Lillard took some time to get going and register his first points of the match. Once the first one was out, he looked a lot like his former All-Star self and ended the evening as the leading scorer with 16 points. Not too impressive, and the shooting was also 5 of 13, but he explained how he's taking it slow, and the goal was only to play, and he likes how he settled into the game pretty quickly. In fact, the more surprising aspect of Dame's return was the place where he played as he joined Anfernee. Simons in the backcourt with Jeremy Grant playing as the forward. This means we might see Lillard in an off-ball role coming off screens and that's very interesting. The highlight of his night was probably that fantastic finish over Moses Brown, his former teammate, and that too came off an early screen. Also John Wall, Los Angeles Clippers. Wall's long-awaited debut came from the bench so he had to wait a while before getting on the court. It's a little unfair considering he spent the entire year sitting out, but at least he got 
to play this time. He only played a handful of minutes, so it's hard to say whether he's still in possession of that speed of his, but there were some flashes of brilliance from the 32-year-old. The way he drove and hit the center, Moses Brown, who had an easy score at the rim, but ended up fumbling the pass, and also the way he passed up on a corner three off a pass from a driving Powell, all indicate that he's still got it. The only basket from John was a late three in the first half, and Reggie Jackson confirmed that Wall still got that aggression and attacking half-court play. So we can't wait to see some of that. John himself pointed out that he had the chance to show his speed, but decided to run the sets and just get used to the moment first. Smart. Then Ben Simmons. Brooklyn Nets. Almost a year and a half since his last NBA game, Simmons was seen moving well up and down the floor, and that's a big positive to start this analysis. We know there are many expectations from Simmons in Brooklyn, and he looks set to be that difference maker defensively for the Nets. On the other side of the court, though, it's going to take some time before he finds the correct rhythm alongside Kiri and KD. There were some promising glimpses as we saw the talented trio playing well off one another. The glaring weakness, as everyone expected, seems to be the same as always for Ben. His offensive issues haven't changed, and while we shouldn't rush to conclusions, he just wasn't interested in any jump shot and also missed the two free throw attempts. Will he work in Brooklyn's system? That's a question only the regular season can answer. Now for Kawhi Leonard, Los Angeles Clippers. We finally saw Kawhi score his first basket in 476 days, and it didn't even take long as he buried a delightful three only 15 seconds into his return. The rest of the match, though, wasn't very easy for Leonard. Of course, things aren't going to magically fall into place when you're returning from a torn ACL, but Leonard still shot 3 for 8 and finished with 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists in only the 16 minutes that he played. It's not quite Kawhi, but we can understand all that given his rustiness. He believes he got stronger over the last 13 months, and we think he looks a little bigger too, and tried throwing his bulk around, which will be an added threat to watch out for. While there were some sharp passes to shooters in the corner, Kawhi also missed a few mid-range shots too. All expected, of course, he'll definitely get better with more playing time. Lastly, Zion Williamson, New Orleans Pelicans. Perhaps the most awaited return to action was of Zion Williamson, as he took to the court on Tuesday night against the Chicago Bulls. While everyone was keeping an eye out for Zion, it also felt obvious how the Pelicans were trying to get him in on the action from the get-go. He was involved in two massive plays, which absolutely absolutely delighted us, and we just can't wait to see more of that once the regular season begins. The first one was defensive goaltending, but Williamson showed off his superb strength and athleticism in chasing down Patrick Williams on a layup and swatting his shot. Ah, that bounces back, and it's more of what makes him so special. Then just a minute later, Williamson caught the ball from the right wing, and taking one hard dribble, he blew past Williams to explode for a two-handed slam. That poster dunk was all that he needed to make a statement, as he ended with 13 points and 4 rebounds in 15 minutes. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these returning players has you the most excited? And do you think Zion can get back to his dominant best? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.